ain't this a surprise? to end this little Yeah. <laughs> 
Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens.
Start running, or I can stab you in the back.
and fight it back. Oh, <laughs> my
Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. If you want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Welcome to Riften. Gates okay, unlocked. Thieves. You can head inside when you're ready. Have you believe? It's all lies. They're just thugs. Vermin creeping around the rat way. Riften's under my protection. You watch yourself now. I had another run in with a thief's skin. Careful, Mule. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Riften jail. Worse. They are the under the incident here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I've never seen Mule this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? That's a shame. Too many people in Riften share your view, and look where it's getting them. It's going to take more than just myself and Eren to help this city. It has to want to help itself first. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. 
I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. <laughs> well, there is Ingwen Blackfriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's Elixir is working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi, the worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Velenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind and all points in between. Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies and deceit are the order of the day. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Safe travels. Well, my friend, how can I help you? I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild, so basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem.
I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Huh? What do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Yes, Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Can I help you? If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. Sorry, you looking for something or what? Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Hailbus bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. There's a college in Winterfell that teaches magic. It's very secretive, though, and you know how people hate secrets. The Jarl's court wizard was taught there. That one's full of secrets. I don't know why I bother. The bunkhouse isn't an inn. I'd recommend the Bee and Barb. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she's slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm, to rub her nose in it. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the Marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgreer, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. Heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. 
Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids, and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kine. No, 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 no. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Maramal. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Is there something I can do for you? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the Hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Three, in fact, they're my own recipe brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves' Guild's territory. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Yeah? What's your problem? I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. All right, all right. 
I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lady. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Looks like you've got some help already. I'll join you. But you'll have to let your comrade go. What do you say? If you change your mind, seek me out here. Why settle for just stabbing your foes when you can roast them alive in a gout of arcane fire? If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. If it's true that the dragons have returned, what will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? The Thieves Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? Head north to Winterhold. There's a college there. They teach magic. Most Nords don't care for them. Else you could go see the Jarl's wizard. Might be able to help you. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Looking Welcome to the Bee and Bar, my lady. To deliver a message to if I can interest Black you in one of our special drinks, ah, you let well. me know. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. I'll meet you outside of town. Is there something I can do for you?
Aha, a fellow lord. I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire? If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. Lelia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago. When the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim, I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, and left her body to rot in the mud. And that's why I won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Never Support done an Ulfric honest day's work in your right. life for all that coin you carry, Alas. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Wealth is my business. Help me out and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? I've got a bit of an errand to perform. But I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Aye, that he was. And you snipped him out because he broke one of the cardinal rules of our business. He got greedy. He was told to run the scam on merchants. But he smelled the gold on you, and his judgment went out the window. Actually, I admire how you handled the situation. You kept your cool and you didn't kill him. That's the mark of a professional thief. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too.